After nearly 40 years underground, the Transuranic Waste Retrieval Team has unearthed damaged boxes in Trench 17. Workers systematically cut holes in the lid of one of the damaged boxes to access its contents. Uh, what we're doing here today is removing the lid off this box. Uh, this box, uh, over the years after it was packaged and uh, buried, has obviously collapsed due to uh, the corrosion, you know, and, and the weight of the, the soil that was on top of it. So what we have here is we have we've got a box where the, the west wall has caved in and then the roof is caved on top of that. So we're developed a package with uh, a lot of work planning and uh, worker involvement and we're removing the lid so that way we can get down into uh, identifying the contents of the box. And at that point, uh, uh, we've got more work planning going on to retrieve those contents and uh, place them in another box. The boxes in Trench 17 were built and buried in the 70s. Most of the boxes held up over time, but some like this box, Box 82, require special care when they're removed. With the help of the Recovery Act funds, uh, you know, we've been able to uh, purchase more advanced equipment. Um, as you can see, uh, some of the equipment that we have here are long-reach tools that we've had an off-site vendor uh, develop for us to help aid in the removal of this box. You know, it helps us uh, more safely and efficiently to do our work. Uh, we've also had trailers brought in closer to the work site, so that way we're able to get out in the field a little quicker. And uh, yeah, the Recovery Act funds have definitely helped out. The number of nuclear chemical operators and radiological technicians has nearly doubled as well, giving CH2M Hill the manpower to accelerate retrieval of suspect transuranic waste and to help clean up legacy waste and fuels on the Hanford site. The hiring and training of the workers was done with Recovery Act dollars.